all saints. This is why we got to fight this stuff. See, the things I've talked about, this unforgiveness, unforgiveness, unforgiveness uh, destroys fellowship. Fellowship. Now, maybe somebody in the church hurt your, hurt your feelings. Maybe someone did you wrong. It happens. People are fallible. And you know what? You are too. And ain't there, there ain't no one in here who haven't failed somebody. Well, so-and-so get on my nerve. Everybody in here gets on somebody's nerve. All of us are professional nerve get owners. You just think you're that wonderful. But there but are folk who can't hardly take you either. We're all works in progress. Well, what, what, what's my point? When someone disappoints you, you don't hold that. You don't walk in disappointment, uh, walk in unforgiveness, won't let it go, keep bringing it up. What if God did you that way? What if God decided, as a matter of fact, what you don't know, you better thank God for me, what you don't know is he's doing you that way because the Lord forgives us as we forgive those. Well, I'm not going to ever let it go. Well, God ain't going to ever let it go. And the person you're mad at, if they've repented, you know what? God's let it go with them. And he didn't fill them with the Holy Ghost and they're going on living their life and you sitting over there mad. Wife, you ought to forgive your husband. Husband, forgive your wife. Parents, forgive your children. Children, forgive your parents. And then church folk forgive church folk so we can come in here and have church. Let's, let's break all this. I'm, I'm going to stay on my side of the church. You stay on your side. No, 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 no. You can't live like that. We've let these worldly terms come in. Well, I don't bother so-and-so. I just can't take them. And that's just me. That's just the way I am. You can't settle with that. You got to ask God to touch you. And that's the Lord. Lord, you got to touch me because that will cause you to be lost. And it breaks the fellowship. And the church has to have fellowship. This fellowship, which was from the beginning of the world, have been hid in God who created all things by Christ Jesus. It was the will of God that we have a powerful fellowship because whether you know it or not, the world is coming after us and we're going to need each other. I'm prophesying right now. We're going to need each other as never before. Now let me say something to you. Whether you like uh, President Trump or not, that's not my point. But listen, when, when, when they deplatformed him, when they decided that social media would shut him down, if they can deplatform a sitting US president, what do you think they can do to the church if they can decide that they don't want you heard what do you think they can do to the church and many preachers now are self-censoring themselves for fear that they might be canceled on social media and we are, we're not preaching with the same vigor we're not standing against sin with the same might we're not preaching with the same power because we're afraid that we may be shut down we need we need each other. We need to pray for one another. We need fellowship. Oh! Yes, sir. 